I recently switched uh, to MonoRepo for my uh, Angular and React components uh, with the help of uh, Lerina. And in this video, I want to show you how I configured my repositories. So why the monorepo? Uh, I got tired of uh, too many checkouts, too many migrations, and this used me to have a single version control history. When running Lerna for the first time, Lerna will configure your repository to work uh, with workspaces. That's a feature of NPM and also of Yarn uh, that uh, allow your packages uh, to be interlinked and all of the dependencies are installed in the root node. Your workspaces are defined in packages. So when I create a new package, you'll go through similar step as if you ran an NPM init. And whatever dependencies you add here, it will be installed in the root, uh, root of the project. Uh, now I'm showing you uh, my React Components repository. I currently have two open source components, there will be more. But uh, I want to show you how I structure the project. So all of the configuration for uh, linting, uh, testing and building is in the root of the project. The uh, only thing that's inside each project is uh, tsconfig uh, json and test.json. I might move this uh, test.json outside eventually. So important part is uh, that uh, everything that's specific to the project, uh, it's, it can be extended like uh, from the base uh, tsconfig JSON. So this includes and excludes is, is uh, specific to the project. As for testing config, I had to write a transform since I write my tests in uh, TypeScript. And uh, you can see that tsconfig extends from tsconfig tsjson. Uh, why? Uh, when I run the command, so for instance, when I run a command test, it will run relative to the package directory. So when it runs, for instance, test for MUI copy field, it will uh, discover this tsconfig tsjson. And as for running commands, uh, this test command, it has to be defined in the package configuration. So it looks into this command. And you can see, all of, since all of the configuration is in the root of the project, I have to point, when I run my commands, I have to point uh, to configuration files. As you can see, each of the packages have their own dependencies, dev and peer dependencies. So dev dependencies are not installed here. They are not installed nested, but they are installed in the root of the project. As for building the package, I like to work with rollup. And rollup is defined in the root of my project. Since rollup defines a build configuration for each package, I imported the package JSON uh, configuration for each package. And there are a couple of transformations. So first off, it's node resolve, uh, which locates modules using the node resolution. And it should only resolve uh, JS, TS, and the TSX uh, extensions. Uh, as for TypeScript, uh, it's configured to do types checks and generate declaration in the dist directory. Exclude dependencies from the bundle. Uh, will exclude the peer dependencies from the final build. Uh, Babel transpiles uh, TypeScript code. And uh, CommonJS converts uh, CommonJS modules to ASMAScript 6, so they can be included in uh, rollup bundle. And finally, Tercer generates a minified output bundle. As uh, for publishing the packages, uh, I like to keep a cheat sheet here in the README. Uh, Lerna run build will run build commands. And prior to build, there's a pre-built hook that runs test lint and prettier. And uh, the build, Will run, uh, will run the configuration setup in the rollup config. 
Finally, a uh, Lerna version will create a new version of the package and push a new git. Uh, I like to make my commits with uh, commits and conventional changelog. And Lerna is configured to publish with conventional commits. The Lerna knows uh, how to pick up what are features, bugs, and so on. So Lerna will generate the changelog for me. I like to publish to two registries, uh, to npm and both to GitHub. So there are two published comments. And uh, that's it. I uh, hope this video was helpful.